We are entering the Barkman Gallery at the Southwest School of Woodworking. This is our third annual art show, and we have exhibits from artists from many different disciplines. We have mosaics, photos, wood turnings, furniture, uh, sculptures. This is a piece, it's a mosaic by So it's called Iris. It's by Delfina Valentini, local artist. She does both mosaics and paintings. Another piece here by Franco Valentini. This is a photograph of a rare fasciated tiger heron. Franco takes very many really great photographs. This next piece is a turning. It's a bow, the outside of which is parabolic shaped. It's done by Doug Forsha, and the wood is carob. Our next piece is from an artist fairly new to us, Christine Sims. It's called Pear, and this is uh, acrylic on canvas. And next is a painting by Esther Gamboa entitled Girl on a Pier. This is oil on canvas. And very nice, very nice piece. Next is another artist that's new to our gallery, Vicki Reed. This piece is entitled, Now Open. It's a collage. Vicki does many different kinds of things. This is acrylic on canvas. And we'll be showing another piece of hers. Another artist is a glass artist, Lori Sotilli. This is fused glass. We'll be seeing another, another piece here later on. This piece is entitled Burning Sun by Lori Sotilli. Next is a piece entitled O Irma. This is done by Vicki Reed and is uh, depicting the damage from the Hurricane Irma. This piece is, proceeds from this piece is being donated to the victims of Hurricane Irma. Next is a sculptor, sculpture by a local artist, Carrie Vesper. This one's entitled Starflower. Carrie does many sculptures of this type that are displayed all over the world. Carrie also is an advisor to our school. This is done in Wenge and Baltic Birch. Next is a photograph by Julie Griffin. This is a photograph on aluminum entitled Snow in the Grand Canyon. Julie is also new to our gallery. Next photo is entitled Two Hearts, also by Julie Griffin. This photo is printed on maple. Next is a local Wood Turner, uh, known all over the world for his, his work. This is J. Paul Fresnel. He is also an instructor here at Southwest School of Woodworking. There's another mosaic by Delfina Valentini. This one is entitled Dragonfly. 
and the medium is enamel vitreous glass and gold. Next is a small sculpture done by our local craftsman, Kip Merritt. Serrated metal, which is aluminum, and walnut. Next is a photograph by Kip Merritt. The photo is taken up at one of our lakes. The frame is welded metal, also done by Kip Merritt. This is entitled Can't Refuse. Next is a, another piece by J. Paul Fennell. As I said, uh, Mr. Fennell teaches here at the Southwest School of Woodworking. He also teaches at many other schools around the United States. Another photograph, this one by Franco Valentini, entitled Into the Wild Blue Yonder. This is a, a digital photo composite. The uh, picture of the sky was taken at 30,000 feet. Next is stained glass work done by local artist Tracy Eller. This piece is entitled Harley Quinn. Here's another painting by Christine Sims. This one's entitled Sea Glass. Acrylic on canvas. The glass actually is gathered from the seashore. Next piece is a mirror. It is three-sided, six, nine-sided, and the, the medium is wood. The wood is turned on a lathe and then put together, and it has silver leaf, aged silver leaf on it. This is done by Rhonda Forsha. Next is a wonderful bowl. This is mesquite with a live edge, and this is entitled Bucket of Balls. This was done by Doug Forsha, and you can see the balls are also turned on the lathe. Another piece of fused glass done by Lori Sotilli. This was entitled Horizon. And wonderful piece. This here is an explanation of how this work is done. This painting by Delfina Valentini entitled Portrait of a Lion. Uh, oil on canvas and the next piece is done by a local blacksmith by the name of Peter Seven. This is iron and glass. You can see that the legs are spiraled iron. All hand done. Beautiful job by Peter. Next is a wonderful piece done by one of our instructors, David Fleming. This is Cabinet on the Stand. It is ash. Inside is Port Orford Cedar. And the stand is mahogany. Dave teaches this at our school. 
Next piece was made by a student. This was made in a rocking chair class. It is a takeoff from a Sam Maloof rocking chair. And the difference between this and Sam Maloof, the back slats on this one are flexible, giving you much support and kind of like a massage when you rock. This was done by Eric Morris. He made this chair for his wife, and he made it in one of our classes. And the last piece is another piece by Doug Forsha. This one is uh, Aphromosia veneers. The uh, aprons were achieved through a miter fold technique. So you can see that the grain of the top follows all the way down in a waterfall fashion on the sides of the table. The legs are walnut that have been ebonized, so they're virtually black. Again, this was done by Doug Forsha, who is one of our main instructors here.